I'll never forget the first time I laid eyes on him. I was just out with friends for a quiet drink. Just a normal night. Until he strolled in. Normal. I'd give anything to feel normal again. He took my breath away. I know everyone says that, but I quite literally could not breathe. He was smiling. And no one in particular, just smiling. Happy. I was really drawn to that. I remember nudging my friend, saying, Who's that? Trouble, she said. I wasn't listening. I think it was the eyes that did it. I'd never seen eyes that blue, that dramatic, not in a man. He was like that monster, you know, the one that turns people to stone. That's it, Medusa. He just had to look at me and I was petrified. I saw him a few times after that, but not to talk to, until one night when he wandered over. He was drunk. He'd been out all day. I couldn't understand a word he said, but we went back to my place. He collapsed on the bed. I mean, nothing happened that night, but I remember watching him while he was sleeping. He looked so peaceful. Well, he was snoring a bit, but he still looked beautiful. Well, the next morning, that was the start of it. We were inseparable after that. I went everywhere with him. I wanted to go everywhere with him. I always wondered what it would be like, you know, when I finally fell in love. It was exactly as I'd hoped it would be. I loved him so much it hurt. We'd spend hours together. Just the two of us, no one else. And then, that awful night, I told him not to be late. I didn't like being on my own. I waited, waited and waited. I was so worried. He'd never been that late before. And then, all came and she told me about the accident no no They say that no one should have to bury their own child. But it can't be any worse than burying your own soulmate. Can it? Can it? Was it my fault that night? I should have gone with him. Oh, the next week was unbearable. I was at the hospital every day. I had to be there. I couldn't leave him, not for a second. It was so painful. 
watching someone you love just slip away. The nurse, she was there. But it was me he needed, not her, me. The day I lost him, no one should have to go through that. I wanted it to be me instead. I wanted to die. <laughs> I held him so tightly. But he said, I had to let him go. It's time. I held his hand and he closed his eye and I saw the life drift from him as he faded away. He was asleep. His face so beautiful. When does it stop? Pain. It's a disease. Like cancer. It just spreads relentlessly. How can an emotion physically hurt? I've never understood that. And the hardest part is realising you're completely alone because you're never going to see him again. And you just feel so empty.